So let's try to model structure to an architectural concept. Let's say the architect has provided you with this model. Uh, the architect has this concept of a well-ventilated space where the living room has a large open window and there's this floating roof and that's all the architect is given. And the architect wants the engineer to provide a structural solution for this concept. A great way to do this is actually directly on the same model in a different layer. And you can see that the architect herself or himself has already layered the components of the architecture, floor, walls, and roof. And so it's a great thing uh, to just simply add a new layer, uh, which is structure, so that there can be this uh, common dialogue or language between the different models. So how we might approach this is you might see the floor plan. So let's, uh, let's just hide the roof for now, get a sense for what this building looks like. And we can take dimensions. We can see this is uh, based on a 20 foot by 30 foot grid. And so as a very simple structural solution, we might decide uh, we want a 10 by 10 grid, uh, maybe just uh, wood columns for the start. So uh, let's try to model that directly on there. So we're going to switch in layers to the structure layer, which currently has nothing. Off to the side, we're going to go ahead and create a generic column. So it's 6 inches by 6 inches because we see these walls are 8 inches thick. We're just going to extrude that up to the level of the uh, existing wall for now. And we're going to triple click and immediately make that a component. As you can see in the previous videos, the components allow us to make edits to the individual elements themselves after the fact. But we can place them in a framework now so that in terms of the, the 3D model it makes sense. So we're going to make that component, and now we're going to try to move this into a, into place. And what I'm going to do is first attach it to the corner, and then to get it right in the center of that uh, conceptual wall to account for uh, maybe the uh, gypsum board and the, the exterior cladding, I'm going to fit it directly into the, the middle of that wall. Now we can use the clone tool and start to extrude our grid. And the easiest way I typically do is extruded in one direction. Uh, let's say I want it to be 10 feet, so I'm going to uh, use move control over 10 and then X2 to make 2 in an, an array. And then I'm going to select those three columns, use move control, and extrude in the other direction, 10 feet, and type in X3. So that now we've created a grid, and we can see that by getting rid of the walls, a very simple grid of, of 12 columns, each space 10 feet apart, each 6 inches by 6 inches, and the height of the walls. So we've integrated our structure, which is completely independent from the architectural solution, so we don't have to worry the architect about changing their architecture. But actually, as we look at this, as an engineer, we might see that, well, there are current problems with the architecture. Um, and we might have suggestions for how to change that. For example, uh, with the most efficient and optimized structural solution, uh, the architecture is actually conflicting a little bit. You can see that this is kind of wasted space right here. And uh, what's this column doing kind of in the middle of the living room space? And so maybe in a separate model, or just directly on this, if you're screen sharing with your architect, you can suggest maybe a couple of changes. You can go now into their walls and maybe suggest, well, what if you move this section over so that it's more in line with this uh, column grid. And what if you move it the same for this section right here? Move that over so it's more in line. And now you've hidden the columns so that this is actually a better architectural solution as well. But as you can see, the pieces are still completely independent so that it's easy to manipulate one and not the other. So let's say the architect agrees with that and uh, let's finish the model so we f don't want to forget about that floating roof so let's bring that back into focus and if we look underneath a uh, very easy thing to do is now that we've made the components we can just take one of these beams can extrude that so that it meets the roof and just like that it's changed all the other identical components 
And to just add a little bit of fun to this, we can go ahead and add material to those columns in the same fashion. And now this is something you can send to the architect with confidence and say, this is a optimized structural solution for your concept. Uh, in the process, we did find some confl conflicts with the architecture and engineering. And so we made that clear in our communication. And uh, we can put this away as schematic design one and move on to the next concept.